here we are back on the deck with a beverage I like in this particular case it's Maker's Mark what happened to Crown Royal well I like to be versatile and you know what versatility is not a bad thing you want to be adaptive have the ability to change as necessary I like to think of myself that way one of the things I think probably hinders a person's ability to be adaptive is to look at too much internet. I know it certainly stunts brain function, or at least I suspect that it does. But you know what? It's the way for everybody to be heard that wouldn't be heard otherwise. There's a lot of false awesomeness out there. Today I come to you to do this little bit of video because once again people were arguing about shooting versus fighting. I don't understand why people can't see the difference between the two. Shooting is always done with a gun or it could be done with a bow or anything but it, something that launches a projectile. You shoot it. To be really really good at it you have to follow certain foundational skills. We know what those are. There are people all across this great nation that do a fantastic job teaching people how to shoot. But shooting isn't necessarily fighting. Shooting is just one phase of learning to be combative, to be ready and willing to fight. Because a fight may happen with a two by four, it may happen with a shovel, it may happen with your fists, it may happen with a knife, it may happen with a firearm at some point. But the state of mind required to fight is not the state of mind that's required to shoot well. If you're worried about things like how fast your splits are, how quick your draw is, or how speedy your shot-to-shot -shot reload can be, you're shooting, you're not fighting. Because those things aren't necessarily required to be a good fighter. Oh yeah, they can add confidence, I get that. And if you're a little more confident in your shooting ability, you're more likely to engage in combat in the first in the first place. But it doesn't mean you'll be a good fighter. And those that think it will are naive at best, certainly ill-informed. If you're running 18 splits, can you be shooting faster than you should be in a fight? I think you can certainly outshoot your ability to take in what's going on. Shoot faster than you can see what's transpiring. Oh, but I won't have an 18 split. That's, that's a wonderful thing to do, but it will make you a better fighter. Think about this. A 33 split is three rounds a second. If you put three rounds into someone's thoracic cavity at a conversational distance in a second, they will probably take notice. The fact of the matter is people usually don't have the wherewithal, the ability to hold themselves together well enough in conflict to deliver that type of performance. The fact of the matter is, is you won't know if you're a good fighter until you actually get in a fight. And then you may discover that not so much, not so much. Fighting is certainly a state of mind, and we've all known for a long time that having a combative mindset, a willingness to engage in conflict in the first place, is probably the single biggest factor in whether you're a good combatant. Building shooting skills won't necessarily do that. Or even worse yet, just going to training classes, because I see an awful lot of people that just go from one class to another class to another class, and read everything they can online and think it makes them better prepared. Oh, it may make them more knowledgeable. It may, may, it may give them some notoriety on the internet because they can post all this stuff they've read. See me? See, look how smart I am. I read all this stuff. Doesn't mean you'll be a better fighter. And unfortunately, there's too many people out there that don't grasp that. Truth be told, folks, you don't want to test those skills anyway. Because every time you enter conflict, you run the risk of losing, no matter how awesome you believe you are. The fact is, is you can do everything absolutely right, just the way you were trained and still lose. 
are Tier 1 Special Forces operators. They're killed in conflict by people who are far less skilled than they are because in a fight, shit happens, and it doesn't always go your way. Shooting is something that you can get better at by just working foundational skills and practicing. Fighting, that's a long process, and shooting is merely a component of being better prepared to fight. Ah, don't listen to me. What do I know? I don't know anything about it. Go look at some fancy YouTube video that's got some flashy, panache looking stuff on it, and you'll make you feel all better about it, and you can wrap yourself in your little fantasy cocoon and think, oh, yes, I'm ready. I've got this. You don't. It's up to you, man. Tell you the truth, the best combatants, they avoid and evade if at all possible. And very, very few people just pay attention, avoid everything they can, and evade it if possible. That may be the ultimate combative techniques. Cheers.